Hello everybody and welcome again to another unboxing of the Witch's Moon, previously known as the Moon Box, and this is March uh, 2018. So once again I am unfortunately um, just doing a video chilling on my bed, so forgive me for whatever messes you might see in the background or what have you, but so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. As always, the Witch's Moon um, comes in this kind of ugly postal box, and the better designed box is on one side. If I can undo this. Actually, right now, <laughs> this lighting that you're seeing is from um, <clears throat> my makeup mirror that I got. So yeah, I don't have any fancy lights, just just a makeup mirror. And once again, trying to get this box out is like giving birth. That was it. Here once more is the lovely box packaging of the Witch's Moon with all of those symbols around and symbols on each corner. Ooh. So the tissue of this of this box is a lovely uh, it's almost red. It smells delicious in there. But, starting out, we have our little parchment with all of our information in it that I will look at later at the end of the video. I'm gonna put the scissors off of my bed. And then we have this um, Wisdom Oracle reading. My makeup looks so shitty. Yeah, got off of a 10 hour shift. Got the moon box yesterday, so yay me for recording it so fast. But anyway, so my oracle reading um, is caution, goat, molt, and this seems to be um, the wisdom of Teo oracle. Multiple colors blind your eyes, discordant sounds deafen your ears. Pause. Carefully seek out and think through your options. This may not be the right time. Don't be afraid, but be cautious. Consider both sides of the story. <sighs> Already, that seems like part of my life right now, but I don't want to consider both sides. Mm -hmm. Or not. Mm -hmm. And then underneath that, ooh. We have this lovely sigil that looks, it looks like the compass, the um, Nordic compass, um, blah, 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 forever supposed to guide your way. And then underneath that, it says magic of Merlin. Oh. So we have a magic of Merlin spell. Which normally, when they have a spell, it's wrapped around a spell candle. So I'm kind of confused on why this is on the front of the box. Maybe it's an extra spell? Hey, one could always hope. And then, underneath that, ooh. So, the Book of Shadows artwork of the month is runes. So you have yourself a nice little rune chart for a lovely little reference, which I love. It looks like we have Odin on this side. Now, moving on to the rest of the box. Underneath this lovely red tissue and some bubble wrap, we have, ooh, ooh, ooh. everything is red and looking gorgeous. Like, opening this up. I spread out a couple of these herbs a little bit so it's not as I saw it, but it is lovely looking. And you can already see like this gorgeous red satin pouch. Oops. 
Okay, not satin. It's more like velvet. And I can already feel multiple items in that pouch. I'm excited for them. So, first things first. The herbs that I picked up. Um, Domania leaf. Some Domania leaf over here. I have never used it. Or as far as I know, I could have used it when working with other witches and just forgot it because I could easily do that. And then after that, we have some Paw Paw Paris. Also an herb I've never really heard of. And I'm sorry that this won't... Ooh, can it focus? I don't know. Maybe? Focus, focus, focus. Okay. But anywho. <laughs> so after those two lovely little herb packets, we have Guided Vision. Sit. Crimson Tea from the Witch's Moon. And, okay, I need to smell this. I have to see what this tea smells like. When everything smells delicious, you have to. Ooh. Seems like there might be cranberry. Mm. I'm not sure if it smells really good. And full of all sorts of red flowers or herbs. Gonna be trying for me later. All right, and now there is so much in here that I need to pick um, do, 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 do. We'll go ahead and go with the incense, which smells delicious and smells very much like a clean scent, almost like a cotton. But I have no idea what it is. Besides, it reminds me of a cotton, like clean stuff. Okay. There's multiple things in here. Though. Okay. So we are going to move on to... Ooh, there's another red pouch in here. Okay, so we're going to move on to the first red pouch. I feel like this might be runes made out of wood. I could be very wrong. But it sounds like uh, different pieces of wood. And, um, oh, I just love this. Uh, I keep wanting to say satin, but it's like a velvet um, pouch. Like this beautiful, almost maroon wooden pouch. Okay, now I need to actually open this up and see what it is. What are you? Ha ha! I was right! little wooden rune chips so this is all about runes this is awesome ooh, 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 ooh. okay later on i'll have to like show everything easier for you guys but i wonder what kind of wood this is either ways ooh. Why do I feel like there's a lot of runes? I feel like this might have multiple runes. Let me see. I need to check this actually. Because I am very confused. I am already really loving these runes. Like. Okay. So there isn't. Okay, so I don't know why I was feeling like there's a lot more runes than there were. Um, but it seems like they have all of the runes here. I am just, I'm just loving these already. So just looking at these, I just, okay. Putting these back in the bag and moving on. <laughs> so I don't spend forever in this video because I'm sure you guys don't want a forever long video. But, lovely little rune chips. Okay, so next song. Next one. We have this lovely little bag with this lovely little bit of bubble wrap. Alright, um, Ooh, so it is the oil for this box. And it is called Speak to Me. Which you obviously can't see. I apologize. Covering my face doesn't help. But 
it seems like it has a little bit of both of these in here. Not 100% sure. I'm trying to see if there's a crystal. Oh, there might be a part of an anise? Is that how you pronounce it? Anise seed? Those stars, you know? But I'm trying to see on if I can see any quartz crystals. Because the past couple oils, they were filled, like, packed with herbs like this. And I could not see that there was a crystal. Ooh, there is a crystal. So once more, the crystal is extremely clear. <laughs> um, it seemed like it had a faded tip, which was how I was able to spot it amongst all of the herbs. But it is very difficult to find right now. So I'm going to give up and move on. But lovely. Actually, I want to smell you. What do you smell like? It smells like there might be some peppermint. Clove. I don't know, but it's strong. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's strong. Putting it to the side. Alright, so next item is our salt. And all that you see is a spiral. It has no name. It is unnamed. And I have no idea what herbs are inside. It smells like peppermint and cotton. No, no, no. It's not. <laughs> well, definitely still peppermint. It kind of smells like toothpaste. Not gonna lie. Yeah, it smells like my toothpaste. <laughs> it still smells good, but I'm like, la de queen, la de good scent. Alright, and then next item, we have this little tea bag for our tea. And then, ooh, ooh, what is this? Ooh. So we have a little block of wood, which I believe is the type of wood that you burn like incense or like sage to do cleansings. Or such. I am not 100% sure. That is my assumption. And it smells good. Oh, it smells really good though. Alright, so next item is this red satin bag. This one is satin. And like a lovely little crimson. And what is inside? Oh. Inside is a plastic bag. <laughs> Watch, because of all the red, it's going to be like some Harry Potter Sorcerer's Stone looking type thing. That'd be awesome if it was. Oh my God. Here's some tissue paper. Oh. No, but it is a dark red stone. Look at that, baby. Oh, no, no, no. That is not the right color. Ooh. What are you? I wouldn't think that it's like red jasper, but gorgeous. Okay. Putting you back in your bag. Next item. We are going to move some of these frillies out of the way. And we are gonna, oh, oh, it feels like two candles. Okay, so we gonna open up this tissue paper. We gonna try to save and conserve some of that shit for, you know, presents. I already see some sparkles, so I'm moving the box back closer. Ooh, ooh, this is gorgeous. So a beautiful white tapered candle that you cannot see with that lighting that has some herbs. And some nice little sparkle and glitter. Oh, that's why they left this spell at the beginning of the box. Because you couldn't wrap it up like you normally do. But those are gorgeous little candles. Ooh. I want to read back at this spell and see what it is. Magic of Moon. Yeah. 
yes, it seems more like connecting with your tools. Give me more magical insight. Try to get more. So okay, okay. So I gotta open up the big boy of the box because you always know that there is a big mofo that is like the real treat. So everything is a treat. But I'm like, this is like usually really spot on. So let's open this guy up. Some more tissue. Are you an hourglass? Because we already had a chalice. Or are you fancy candle? Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Bitch. <laughs> this is a really fancy, nice little candle holder. I mean, this is lovely for tapered candles. You have a little gold base here. You have a lovely pentacle. And you have some lovely fuzzies from the box. And some lovely little um, greenery right here. Some nice little vines, uh, ivy-ish. Pentacle looks like it's carved a little out of wood. Oh, I love this so much. Oh, a little piece. A little, nope, nope, nope. That is just so fuzzy. Yeah, okay. I thought a little piece chipped off, but no. It was just one of the box fuzzies. I am so happy. Again, I am really fucking pleased with this box. So. Alright. So that was the Witch's Moon for March 2018. I hope you really enjoyed it. As I did as well. Except I almost forgot to read through this again. Alright, so. It says... Ancient Council. Our lives are filled with experiences that are beyond our control. When these experiences impact our world, we step back to understand the purpose behind it all. We truly embrace the potent strength of accountability, responsibility, taking these experiences into our own hands so we may grow and become bigger ourselves. Bigger than ourselves. We do not wait for experiences to happen to us, but are prepared and take action to create the results that that are channeled through our higher selves. We pay great respects while asking the ancient council for our, from our guides so that they may show us signs and synchronize, synchronize, synchron, I cannot say this word, synchronicities that may guide us into our victorious territories. We commit ourselves through practice and knowledge seeking so that we may cultivate a more intimate experience with our guides. In a world with so many uncertainties, we embrace our ability to sharpen our senses and become aware of the potent threat by the ancient council. All right, the magical items in this box are as follows. The witch's pentacle candle holder. This beautifully crafted pentacle pentacle candle holder is a great addition to your altar and will prove to enhance the depth of your ritual. This pentacle has been used as a sacred symbol for over 8,000 years by many ancients such as the Egyptians, Indians, Persians, and Greeks. The resonating symbolism behind the pentagram reminds us that we have the ability to bring the spirit to the earth, giving us the power to become whole. We create substance Substance, life, and gain secret knowledge to the hidden mysteries of the earth by incorporating in the order of three, two, one. Rune one represents the overview of the situation or the query. Rune two in the middle represents the challenge. Rune three represents a possible course of action that can be taken. Um, please feel free to reference the Book of Shadows artwork that we have created for you. As you begin to continue your journey with runes, we urge that you seek knowledge through books and references. Include runes in your meditations and rituals to allow the guidance that comes from the ancient within to empower you on your path. Alright, and the next item up is Magic of Merlin Candle Pair with Spell. 
We have created these sacred candles with the purpose of creating a stronger bond to the connections of spirit that brings forth ancient knowledge and guidance. We have created two candles for you to use during your ritual. These can be used one at a time or both as you see necessary for your intention. These candles have been enchanted with a special mixture of our spiritual guidance oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. We recommend you we recommend for you to include oils that pertain to your ritual so that you may include this energy while working to receive messages. We also have enchanted these candles with white sage around the beige so that your ritual invites pure intention and communication. This candle is accompanied by a spell from a book of shadows that we recommend reciting out loud three to seven times while burning your candle. If you are unable to use a candle holder that might fit this candle, place over a plate or offer in dish in which you would like to burn your candle. Place the fan to the bottom of the candle allow the wax to form a puddle. Quickly place your candle in the upright position in the middle of the puddle and hold for a few seconds. Alright, and the next one is the Veg Visor Seal. Or Veg Visor Sigil, sorry. My bad. So, the Veg Visor Sigil. To accompany you on your journey of true purpose and fulfillment, we have included a hand-painted copy of our interpretation of the Veg Visor Magical Stave. Known as the Icelandic Wayfinder, this magical stave was created to assist in finding our way through rough weather. I was close. I was close. I'm sorry. It was Nordic Icelandic. I got it confused for a second. I'm sorry. Um do 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 do. As written in the Hold Manuscript in 1880, the Vegeser was written next to the following inscription. If this sign is carried, one will never lose its way in storms or bad weather, even when the way is not known. Take comfort in the ancient energy that this stave holds within its lines. The next one is Ma Speak to Me Magical Oil. The Speak to Me Magical Anointing Oil has been created with the intention of draw drawing forth signs and synchronized synchronicities into view. We recommend anointing your skin, candles, or jewelry with this oil so that you may become more able to recognize messages during your ritual or daily life. These signs are whispers from the ancient within that are communicated to us throughout our lifetime. We have enchanted this magical oil with cinnamon and peppermint essential oils and have included mugwort, mugwort, enchinata, and star anise as well. Inside your oil, you will find a luminarian quartz that is oneness to your aura. We have also included a speci special mixture of our divination magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. Alright, our next one is Spirit Calling Sacred Salt. Alright. The... We have enchanted the sacred salt with cinnamon and sweet orange essential oils, as well as peppermint leaf and orange peel. We have also included a special mixture of our, divina of our divination magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. The next, ooh, okay, so the lovely stone that we got was a red moss agate. Moss agate has been a great addition to our practice while working to figure things out. With the red moss agate, which is most unlike, which is a more unlikely stone to find, is a fantastic harmonizer during hectic periods of life. Either a mess at work or in your personal life, the stone will help unlock guidance, helping you make sense of things, making it easier to know just what to do. Moss agate gives con uh, confidence to move forward, knowing you are in charge. And the next one. Is the holy wood Palo Santo. Ha, yes, it is the wood burning stuff. Palo Santo, also known as holy wood, is our absolute favorite energy to bring forth before and after ritual work, as well as clearing your space 